Yes, I know about transactions and backups. Promise you won't be mad. Uh? I crashed production where research physicists, what do you mean? Run, in case you don't know, that is the demon core. It's a subcritical mass of plutonium surrounded by two half spheres of beryllium neutron reflector. When the spheres are in place, it becomes supercritical. The scientist is keeping them separated with the tip of a screwdriver. Twice, it slipped and in both cases, people died of radiation poisoning. I just use a screwdriver to click the enter key, I'm no different the 40s scientist after all. Holy, I just watched Kyle Hill's video on the demon core and it's one of the most terrifying thing I have ever watched. The moment those two spheres touch each other, and it goes super critical you're good as dead. Radiation ain't no joke, it literally corrupts your DNA, your very source code. I know this is supposed to be funny and not educational, but if you're ever executing SQL on the live server, wrap the SQL in a transaction so if the number of rows affected is not what you expect you can roll it back. In T-SQL begin tran delete from customer 1,000,000 rows affected roll back tran.